So what's up guys, uh, welcome back. How are you not doing? Uh, welcome back again. This is your boy again, Adam Slink. I hope you're not doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. You guys saw what Bonaboy did yesterday. Apparently, they say it's more than 80,000 capacity, but I think it's 80,000 capacity. That is London Stadium. Not just ordinary stadium. This is the second time Bonaboy is selling out that stadium. Oh my God. Odogu for a reason. Odogu for a reason. Well, firstly, this is not a video that dwells on beefy with anyone. I'm so, so happy that we are able to do that again. Being the only Africa country, their artists can sell out any arena, any stadium in the world. Yes, so two guys have done it. And Bonaboy has done it twice. Bonaboy and Whiskey that have sold that stadium. And Bonaboy has done it twice. Being the only Nigeria entertainer, Africa entertainer, to have done it twice. It's only a handful of celebrities, a handful of artists that can sell that stadium, my guys. It's not an easy thing to do. Odogu. Odogu. Of course, you guys saw the, the crowd. Massive crowd. Abba! Abba! Massive crowd. It's a good time to be alive for witnessing all those crazy stuff happening around the Afrobeat. I'm so, 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 so happy for them. I wish them more. I wish them more. And I wish them more. I want to see other Nigeria entertainers doing it. I want to see David Doe doing it. I want to see... Uh, this guy also, uh, Whiskey, doing it again. I want to see Rema doing it. I want to see Asake doing it. Stadium, don't be child's play, let's be honest. Stadium is not a child's play. Not everybody that can successfully even attempt. Attempting O2 Arena is even a big deal for so many artists. Only a handful of few entertainers can see Odogu for a reason, guys. The giant of Africa, you know, some people know see agree. Somebody like uh, Free West Deep and the local man, they know if you agree, say, uh, Bona Boy and I be the giant of Africa. <laughs> well, that's not what we want to dwell on here. All I'm saying is that, come on, man, come on, Odogu for a reason. 80,000 capacity sold completely out without making too much noise. This guy no post about this thing too much. You know, brag. Abba, you know, brag. He just quietly sold it out. It could be like, say, abroad, the UK fans are way more supportive than us. It seems like the UK fans, European fans, the US fans, all of them are way more supportive uh, to them than Africa artists, ourselves, than Africa fans. That's the reason why they don't regard you. <laughs> That's the reason why they don't regard Africans again. But we started their journey. But as long as soon as they start making that big money, they don't regard you because they feel like, who be all those dress makers? Who be all those dress makers? Well, Udogu for a reason, guys. Udogu for a reason. I'm so, so happy. You don't know how, how are they hype about consigning with uh, Bonaboy do. You guys do not understand it. You guys do not understand it. It's not as if I'm Bonaboy fan. I'm nobody's fan. But I want to see our Nigeria entertainers say, achieving things. Achieving. Just keep on achieving. We are talking about Tyler Swift kind of fame. We are talking about Ed Sheeran kind of fame. We are talking about Beyonce, Michael Jackson kind of fame. We are not talking about the other entertainers. This is what we are talking about, the same level. So the question we are asking now is that, how come Bonaboy can sell out a stadium, but his records are not selling? I think this record label abroad, they are doing some fraudulent things, honestly. How come... An artist in, U in, in USA cannot sell out an arena in UK. Cannot even sell out an, are an arena in USA without the support of another artist. But we sell one million records. 
And meanwhile, our entertainer like Bonner Boy Whiskey, that like David Doe, all of them here, they can sell out an arena single-handedly. 20,000 capacity, but yet, the cannibal get up to 50,000 or maybe now itself, like 100,000 uh, K uh, 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 sales in US and UK. I believe some auditing are not auditory well. Yes, that's what I believe. I believe some auditors are doing some fraudulent things, which will ask them, how come I can sell out a stadium, but I cannot sell 80 copies, 80,000 copies? They are doing the number, so, but it's taking a... It, it, they are doing the number, but it takes really long time for them to accumulate that kind of sales when it comes to their individual music. They need to start asking questions. They need to start asking or dictating very well so that they will know they are receiving the appropriate money, the appropriate statistics concerning their music. Appropriate statistics. But I'm happy, man. I want to see Davido do it. Davido can attempt it and do it. Do you believe Davido can do it, guys? Do you believe? Whiskey has already done it, but I think Whiskey can still also do it again. Rema can still even do it. It's just determination. As a cake, I'll equally do it. It's just determination. <laughs> Sometimes, eh? <laughs> yes, it's determination first. Dream about it and be determined about it, and you will achieve it. Odogu for a reason. And we, we saw how he brought out a Charlie Poppy. We saw how he brought out a Rema. We saw how he brought out a, sorry, not Rema, a Udumudu Black, Shei Vibe, and so many others were there. Fields, Fields was also there, assisting, you know, giving them paving ways, paving ways for your, for your co-workers. Yes, I can call, I can call them a co-workers because they are on uh, the same uh, entertainment business. I'm very, very happy, guys. I'm very, very happy. 80,000 capacity. You see that small meat. Let's do the calculation and uh, so that you'll see. Let me say 80,000 capacity. I don't know the ticket. Uh, let me check the ticket price for Bonaboy ticket price. Bonaboy ticket price for London, London Stadium. Okay, the official ticket price was for fifty-five pounds. The resale, like people that bought, eh? People that bought the ticket from the official ticket price was uh, fifty. Where sorry, the official ticket price was fifty-five pounds. Then, if you buy the ticket, because there are some people that have that can buy all the ticket. Maybe you say, I want to perform at this stadium and the ticket price is £55. Somebody can decide to buy all the ticket and resell it. So the resell was £80 to £123. That was the resell. But the original amount is going to get, or if they get black market, with all those artists, they do black market too, they go buy their own ticket and go resell them. They do do, uh, do that, but let us not focus on that. Let's talk, focus on the 55 pounds. And let's check the, check the capacity of London Stadium. London Stadium capacity. Okay, this is uh, 60,000 capacity for football. But for concert, 80,000 capacity. So, Bonaboy was doing a concert. So most definitely, let us say 80,000 capacity. Eh? So 80,000, 80,000 times 55 pounds. You know how much? We are talking about 4.4 million pounds. 4.4 million pounds. That's what I'm talking about. But that aside, the resale, if they should say the resale for 125 pounds, 125 pounds times 80,000, 125 pounds, 125 pounds times 80,000, 
That is 10 million US dollars. No, 10 million pounds. 10 million pounds for a sale. Odogu for a reason, guys. Odogu for a reason. I want to see every other artist doing it, man. We need to hype them up. Hype them up so that they can be moved to do it. Go and do it. Go and do it, guys. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.